Welcome or welcome back to Hurricane Insight. As always, my name is Zachary. I never provide round the clock coverage of weather events happening in the North American region and the Eastern Pacific. Today in the Eastern Pacific, we have Hurricane Eric bearing down on the coast of Mexico. So let's dive right into it. This is a satellite imagery of Eric. It's trying it's forming an eye. And it's about one hundred meters away from the coast. Eric is very well organized. So let's dive right into our National Hurricane Center graphic. As of 12 p.m. CST, Eric has maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour with minimum central pressure of 971 millibars moving northwest at 9 miles per hour. Our cone for Eric are three days cone. Around 6 a.m. in the morning to tomorrow morning, we should have Eric on the doorstep of the coast of Mexico as a major hurricane. And it moves inland, becomes a tropical storm. There are, uh, there are hurricane warnings, watches, and tropical storm warnings along the coast of Mexico. So if you are in Mexico, and especially in the area where it's going to hit directly, please evacuate. A major hurricane can take groups, flood houses, Cause power outages and rip trees off the ground. You do not want to stay in danger. And if you don't evacuate and try to go driving and it's flooded, turn around and don't drown. Look at our key messages for Hurricane Eric. Eric is rapidly intensifying and is expected to become a major hurricane when it reaches the coast of Western Oxia or Eastern Guerrero within the hurricane warning on Thursday. Devastating wind damage is possible where the core of the storm moves on shore. Preparation to protect life and property should be rushed to completion. Eric will produce heavy rainfall across portions of Central America and Southwest Mexico through this week. Life-threatening flooding and mudslides are likely, especially in areas of steep terrain. A dangerous storm surge is expected to produce coastal flooding near onto the east coast of the east of where the center crosses the coast in areas of offshore winds. So like you said, evacuate. Please evacuate. By Wednesday 8 p.m. you should feel some wind and by 2 a.m. more. But it's not gonna make landfall until 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. So stay prepared. It's our TFS model on Eric. Yo, Eric, well, yep. About uh, 18, I see that's 6 a.m. Actually, 2 p.m. Eric already in land this Friday. Now we see a bunch of showers and some no Bay of Campeche in the Atlantic, but nothing tries to spin up. JFS doesn't have anything. So for the rest of June, we don't see anything trying to develop in the Atlantic. But all in the Pacific side, the GFS model has something else forming and hitting almost exactly the same spot where Eric is about to hit. So even after you finish preparing for Eric, Eric hits, your house isn't damaged, say so. But something else comes and produces damage to your house. Keep up your your shutters to stay prepared because you want to stay safe during this time of emergency. Now we look at our, our water temperatures. Where Eric currently is, he is, sit is sitting at 30 degrees Celsius temperatures. That is very warm and it's fueling this rap rapid intensification. So, at our next advisory, we should expect a major hurricane from Eric, which is at 5 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Pacific. And if you're in Mexico, by the area where it's going to get hit. Please stay safe. Evacuate into Upper Mexico or even Texas. And stay safe. Now don't go back for two weeks. And that's going to do it all for today. Stay safe. Stay prepared. And don't believe all the hype around weather. Deuces.